Hi, I am Sparade. This is regarding how to deploy a tool created a tab app sample to Azure App Service. Uh, usually, when we create a tab app from using the Teams toolkit, right, it deploys into a static website in a storage account. That's the default configuration using Teams toolkit. But if you want to uh, deploy to Azure App Service, for example, if you have created uh, Azure App Service separately and you want to deploy the resources to Azure App Service, how to deploy that? Uh, so we will go through those steps. These are the uh, specific set of steps we need to follow to do the same thing. So first, thing, for example, we need to create SSO enabled tab app using uh, Teams Toolkit, and then we need to provision the Azure resources. Uh, default Azure resources and we need to run uh, npm install and then uh, this build up, uh, build command uh, in tabs folder and after that we can need to create Azure app service and uh, uh, we need to run this particular uh, command uh, in in uh, build folder so that it deploys the resources into our app service. And after that, we need to uh, change the uh, particular uh, big app file in uh, Azure uh, template file. So when we provision again, right, it updates the configuration. For example, Azure AD app registration configuration and manifest updations will be taken care of by running this provisions command again. So I will go through these steps. So for example, first I just opened uh, uh, Visual Studio Code and I click on create new Teams app, create new app, SSO enable tab, and I just use, for myself, I just use uh, TypeScript. Uh, and uh, within that you can create uh, one application or like a, uh, you can give any name, So I just gave the name and press enter. So it creates the uh, resources. It creates the all the scaffolding project will be created and it will open in uh, Visual Studio Code. So uh, that's the first step. And then the next step will be uh, we need to run this provision uh, option. We need to provision the resources. So to do that, uh, I just have created another uh, application already. So for example, this is the one and I just, yeah, steps are the same. I just created the tab app and if I click on provision in the cloud, it actually creates Azure resources. For example, I have the resource group name here, so I'm just selecting it and clicking on provision. So this will create Azure resources like a storage account, uh, Azure AD app registration, all those things will be uh, created by using this ARM templates by default with this one. So this is the uh, second step provisioning the resources. So once we complete these steps, then we need to run this npm install and then npm run build command. So to just to save the time, I run that npm install command already. Uh, just to save the time. So once this deployment is completed, uh, then uh, once this deployment is completed, then we can just run this npm run build command. So let's wait for the update. By the way, uh, by the time we can also create this uh, app service in parallel. So I just navigate to uh, uh, resource group here is where the Azure resources are getting created, but we also need to create uh, Azure app service manually. So let me create the resource. Okay. Click on web app. So I just select the res my default resource group. So I'm just selecting this, uh, creating the new app service. So 
if you have created already, you can use the existing one. If you want to create, you can create the web app uh, using this uh, configuration. I'm just selecting uh, runtime stack as uh, Node 16, and uh, I'm just selecting uh, East US. It's based on your requirement. You can change the region, and then, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think it it is creating new apps uh, resource plan already. And uh, I'm just changing the operating system to uh, Windows. No app service plan will be created. It's a free plan. So I'm just clicking on a review plus create to create the web app. Click on create. Creating web app in progress and uh, template deployment is also in progress. It's completed now. Uh, uh, provisioning resources are completed, so this provisioning is completed. Now we need to run the npm install command actually, but uh, I already uh, did that, so I can use directly this command. npm run build command. Uh, in the tabs folder, so I just navigated to tabs folder already to run uh, uh, npm install. So I'm just using the next step to run this build command. So once we in the, uh, run this command, right, it creates a build folder within tabs. See the build folder is created in tab. Creating optimized production build. And the app service deployment is completed here now. Go to resource. Yeah, this is the URL uh, which is created now. Let me come back to the studio code. Uh, so creating SSO tab is done, provisioning the resource is done, npm run uh, npm install is done, and we are using this npm run build command uh, in the tabs folder. So that is going on. Uh, once that is done, we need to create Windows, Windows uh, app service. We already created that now. So after that, we need to uh, uh, run this particular command to deploy the resources, uh, it is on tab slash build folder. Uh, we need to run this command to deploy the resources into a particular uh, app service. So before that, we just need to wait to complete these steps. Yeah, uh, so building is completed. So this step is completed, this step is completed. Now we need to run this command to deploy the uh, resources to particular app service. So in the app service name, I'm just updating with my app service name. So for example, here, this is the app service which I created, right? Suba toolkit app 2.azurewebsites.net. So we just need to use Suba toolkit app 2 here. So this is the name which I'm using and we need to use the subscription ID as well. So this will be the subscription ID. Let me copy the subscription ID. Copy it till this one. Is it web app app up name uh, uh, app service name hyphen HTML hyphen subscription and then subscription ID. So we just need to copy this uh, value and then go, uh, go back to terminal window and then navigate to build folder. So we should be in tabs build folder and then run this particular command. to wait to complete this deployment. 
maybe we can even check uh, whether that how the files are copying right we can check it from dot uh, sem portal to portal Debug console command under site www root. So uh, whatever the files are deploying using this command, right? Those files will be uh, copied to this path. I'm seeing some error here. Uh, subscription not found. Check spelling. Okay, seven six four ud. Let me check the toolkit. It is it is correct as we recall, and the subscription is also correct one. Let me try to run it again. Okay, uh, it seems there was some problem with the uh, free trial version, free trial subscription. Uh, but usually it should work with this uh, subscription ID. So once you uh, uh, run this command, right, we need to go to uh, this particular Azure templates, Azure provision. So if you go to folder structure of this here. Templates Azure provision and front end uh, hosting dot So in this particular uh, uh, in this particular file, we need to update this site domain here in endpoint and domain. We just need to update these values here. So again, let me copy this value. Just need to copy till only this value, not HTTPS, and then replace this dollar site domain, right? Replace this value, and uh, under the site domain, just add single quotes and then value add this uh, domain. So, uh, for example, uh, when you actually creating the manifest file, right? Manifest .dev .json, it is actually created with a static website URL. Uh, so this is the URL uh, which was created uh, based on the storage account. So for example, here in the resource group, right? Storage account is created and within that storage account, this particular uh, static website was hosted like in this web, right? Uh, in this particular URL, uh, static website was hosted. So this URL was created on that. But uh, to replace these configurations here and in the Azure ID app registration as well, uh, we updated this uh, particular provisioning file uh, with this domain. So once we updated this one, come back to the toolkit and click on provision in the cloud again so that uh, the relevant configurations will get updated. It will not create new resources because we use the say whatever names we use, uh, added in this run, right? It just try to update it. So as we change this uh, endpoint and domain URL, it will update in Azure AD app registration as well as app service configurations uh, and the manifest. It will just update it those values. So let's wait to complete this step. Still going on. Yeah, 
it's completed now. So if you go back to uh, go back to manifest file and if you see it, all the configuration URLs and the content URL, everything will get updated here with the Azure websites content URL and app, Azure app registration as well. Uh, values will get updated with this Azure app service URL. So those are the steps we need to follow and then obviously as manifest is created, you can use this manifest file uh, or you want to deploy it to publish to teams directly. You can use this option. Uh, you don't need to use deploy to the cloud option here um, because we are following specific steps like uh, uh, deploying the uh, deploying the particular resources to uh, Azure App Service. Right? We need to run with this uh, commands here. So those are the steps. If you want to deploy create Teams Toolkit tab application and deploy to Azure App Service. Uh, to uh, reiterate, create uh, SS enabled tab from the using the team still kit, run provisioning the resources, and then uh, create that open the terminal and run the npm install and uh, npm run build command in tabs folder. Both these commands should be run under tabs folder. Uh, the, the, uh, under this tabs folder, and after that, uh, run this command. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, you need to create app service or uh, Azure app service and uh, run this uh, particular command to deploy the resources to uh, your Azure app service and then modify the templates in this particular path. Uh, 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 path like mentioned here, like the endpoint and domain just need to update these two values and then provision again to update all relevant configurations and then you will find the zip folder to update it. You just use that. That's it. Thank you.